Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the three Stooges, more specifically about the 72nd Stooge short produced by Columbia Pictures, which released in July 30th, 1943. If you're a fan of classic TV shows and movies, this is the channel for you. I'm cataloging every single Stooge short from number one all the way to 190. We're currently here at 72. So if you haven't seen the previous 71 Stooge shorts that I've covered with facts, bloopers, so much behind the scenes information, you should check them out. Link is in their description. So let's get to this one. As I mentioned, this came out in the middle of World War II. The short is named Higher Than a Kite, and it was filmed over a five-day period from February 20th through the 25th of 1943. And as I mentioned, it was released later on through the year in July 30th of the same year. This short and a lot of the previous ones that I've recently covered are very special because a lot of these were banned at some point in syndication during reruns because of the content there's a lot of world war ii anti-propaganda and so because of that they were banned from a lot of the channels because of the uh, basically the german salutes a lot of the insignia and so forth and so this one is pretty rare i would even say that a lot of you have not seen this one unless you've seen it especially through the dvds or in some other uncensored version because they don't like to put this in reruns at all in fact they just completely banned it now it has appeared here and there but that is few and far between because it is quite cut up as well they don't show you all the scenes they take some scenes out and it's just a mess so this is very special for that reason because we get to see the stooges perform in ways that we never have before. Now, the beginning of the short and throughout the whole thing, it's very funny. There are a lot of sight gags. The Stooges are, in fact, mechanics working at an airport kind of facility, and they are repairing a vehicle in pretty much the first half of the short. Later on, they accidentally crawl into a bomb that gets loaded on a plane. They drop the bomb on essentially the middle of Germany. They come upon all these Nazis. And because of that, it's really hilarious. It is super funny. And there's all these salutes. There's all this making fun of Schickelgruber. If you don't know, they don't refer to Mr. H as Mr. H. They refer to him as Schickelgruber. And that is because that is a way of making fun of him. In fact, Schickelgruber was Mr. H's father's birth name. He later changed it. And of course, this is a way the Jewish Stooges could make fun of Mr. H or Schickelgruber. And I always talk and refer to him as Schickelgruber because I think it is funnier doing just what the Stooges did. Now, you may not recognize this man because he doesn't have all the makeup, all the costume that he usually has on. His name is Duke York. And he is a man who played in a lot of films, but was a lot with the Stooges. He usually played a monster character. Here he is in another previous Stooge short, and he is playing this creature, this crazy monster. He plays like gorillas and different kind of creatures that they need in different of uh, episodes or movies or whatever they need him as. He was in Three Little Twerps, Idle Rumors, Three Pets in a Mess, Shivering Sherlock's, Who Done It, and of course this one, Higher Than a Kite. Unfortunately, he only lived to 43 years after taking his own life as a result of a romantic encounter that went really badly, and it's just a tragic thing, especially because he was so talented. He was a comedic, I mean, powerhouse playing along with the Stooges, kind of being their foil, you know, getting in trouble with the Stooges is so hilarious. It's so sad that he had such a short-lived life, but here he is without all that makeup and everything, and it's good to see him that he did play prominently in here. This man played a lot of monsters, and in this one, he didn't. It was, in fact, pretty much the only Stooge short where he appeared as a non-monster character. All the other ones, he was always a monster, a creature, an ape, something like that. And because this short film was a type of propaganda against the Axis power, especially the Germans in this case, it was something that was very risque to see on screen, even the big screen, and even on the little screen, you know, television. And so it is one that is very unique. Something I would like to notice that throughout the short, you get to hear a lot of Curly's real voice. What I mean by that is he used to feign a higher pitch voice when he was Curly, but then you can hear a lower pitch voice, which was his normal tone, his normal way of speaking. And as he 
essentially started to slowly deteriorate because of his health issues. He did a lot more of that voice. He started losing his timing and his comedy. It's very unfortunate, but you start to see little bits and pieces of it in this short as well as others that are coming along very soon. So keep that in mind. Thank you so much for your support as always. Let me know if you have seen this one because chances are you haven't unless you went above and beyond to search and find it. It is currently online. You could probably type it in and watch it for free, but just letting you know how rare it is and how just uncommon it is to watch. This is not one that they play all the time. In fact, it was banned for a long time. Thank you so much for watching this video and for giving a thumbs up. It really does help. It's a free way to support the channel. And hey, a lot of you are watching and not subscribed. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can support the channel. It's free to do so. And it really, really, really helps out the channel so, so much. We'll see you all next time. And don't forget everyone, be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons, Russ C, Sally N, Vito L, Citizen Kane 359, David D, Jerry D, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you want to join this list and be a patron supporter, it does help out so much, and I thank you ahead of time.